What's going on YouTube? It's Andy the Parrothead Picker coming at you guys today with another edition of Making Money Monday. This is volume 61, part one, hard goods and hats. This will be my eBay uh, hard goods and hats sales update for uh, March 18th through April 22nd. Yeah, it's been a while since I've got one of these videos out. I've been extremely busy as of late. Uh, you know, those of you guys, some of you guys know, I got a bit, we got a wedding coming up here in a couple of months. Been extremely busy with that. You know, we just finished up doing taxes. Uh, just a lot of stuff just with life in general going on and family and what have you, but everything's all good here and what have you. So uh, when it, I got up super early this morning, um, had to get all my stuff ready to go for uh, to the post office today, you know, from this weekend sales. Had a pretty good weekend, um, and I figured, you know what, I got a little extra time yet. Uh, I'll take and uh, put together one of these videos. Actually, I'm going to do two of, the, two of these videos today. So um, the other video you guys want to check out will be um, clothing and shoes. So um, that video there, I got quite a bit of that stuff. Um, hard goods, not as much. Not a whole lot of home runs by any means. Uh, just a lot of bread and butter sales. But it'll give you a good idea of some of the stuff that I pick up, I source, and what have you. So uh, I'll jump into it. Okay, uh, first up, uh, we got this viewpoint. Um, this is just like some viewpoint uh I guess it's like a small little uh, photo cube. Um, I guess it's like a photo paper or something like that for uh, one of these little viewpoint photo cubes. Um, I picked all three of these. I sold these for uh, fifty-four ninety-nine plus buyer paid shipping, and I think I paid a dollar ninety-nine a piece for these. Um, they were all sitting together at my local Goodwill. Um, so anyway, I just figured, you know, what, I'm just going to take and bundle them all together, uh, and I got uh, fifty-four bucks out of them, so not too bad. Um, you know. I haven't got a lot of hard goods yet. You know, garage sale seasons basically just started last weekend. Uh, we had five sales last weekend, and uh, in my area, you know, I, I didn't even get a chance to go out until Saturday. So all the sales in my area all started Friday. Um, you know, I work on Friday, so yeah, I ended up buying clothes, uh, <laughs> but I did get some really good deals on some really good clothes. Um, but anyway, yeah, so most all these hard goods are all items uh, that I've got from uh, my local Goodwill or uh, charity thrifts. Um, this here is uh, Art of Racing in the Rain, it's a new sealed uh, audiobook, CD audiobook. I paid a dollar for this. I got eight forty nine on uh, buyer paid shipping. You know, not a home run by any means, but uh, I happen to see it and I was like, ah, you know what, this will be quick and easy. You know, just a couple photos to do. Same with this one here. I paid a dollar for this. Stan Brown's Angels and Demons. You know, it's three photos. I can do that super quick, so I don't mind doing those. I got a twelve seventy four out of that. Um, this here I actually found at my local Goodwill. It was new in the box. Uh, this is a, just a John Deere satellite dish cover. Um, I live about an hour from the main John Deere facility, so we have tons of John Deere stuff in our area. John Deere stuff actually does sell well. I should probably pick more of it up. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, I found this old satellite dish cover, and uh, this sold like super quick. I mean, listing it, and I got a fourteen ninety nine plus buyer paid shipping out of that. And I think, you know, like I said, that was only a dollar. Um, I pick these up all the time. These here, the uh, boppets. Um, actually, the boppet extreme and the original boppets. Um, they go for a little bit more money. I think I normally get twenty four, twenty seven bucks out of those. Um, this one here, though, the the boppet XT. Uh, I got $19.99 out of that free ship. You know, these cost about seven bucks to ship. So um, you got to take that into consideration when you're selling these. But, you know, normally you can get these at a garage sale. A lot of times Goodwill will have these for $0.99. Cents. Um, I've seen these in free bins. I, I pick them up whenever I can. They're, they're uh, it, Usually they always have batteries in them, so you can test them, you know, right there. You know that they work. Um, this one I actually didn't even get creative with. I only took three photos of this one. So, yeah, it was just a front back and uh in the battery compartment so um not a bad little sale there if you can find these new sealed especially the original one new sealed um you know i think the all the sealed ones go for like 50 plus so if you happen to find these in the packages um, definitely worth picking up you know i mean mostly i think in the package is always worth at least checking um so here's a bible a new sealed bible i got this bible for free um at a thrift so that wasn't too bad now, when you turn 30, I got what, uh, $35 out of that plus buyer paid shipping. Um, you can ship Bibles media mail. So I was super happy with that sale there, especially uh, on a free pickup. Actually, I got a couple free items that I made some pretty good money on uh, over the past month. Um, this here is a Bond Traeger, um, just a little like bicycle computer. Um, it tracks like uh, how fast you're going, it does your trip, it does, uh, I don't know, it has like about nine different functions on it, um, which is pretty cool, actually. 
yeah, it does uh, average speed, max speed, it's got a clock, uh, does trip distance, all that sort of stuff. Um, I got $22.99 out of that, plus buyer paid shipping, and it paid like $3 for this, so not too bad. I got this at my local Goodwill, and it was new in the box. Uh, this here, actually, we've actually only had two garage sales uh, so far this year. Like I said, I live in Illinois. Um, I mean, it snowed last weekend, last Saturday and Sunday. Uh, well, actually, I guess it would be the previous Saturday and Sunday. We actually had a decent one this weekend. Um, but a couple weeks before that, we had a, a community center had a, a bunch of people in the community. I just went to the community center, and they did a, a big uh, garage sale. Um, I did get a few things there, um, and this was one of them. A uh, gentleman uh, had this bar, I don't even know how you pronounce this, Barjan, bar, Barjan, uh, tractor tire knocker. Um, I, I actually put Billy Club in there because it's kind of like that. It's, it's weighted in the end. Um, I got. I bought this. I bought two hats. Um, I believe one of the hats is in this video. Uh, I got a Nintendo DS, and I don't know a couple things for the wife. I think I paid like seven dollars total for everything I bought. So I was super happy to uh, to flip all this stuff. Um, but yeah, this is just a really cool just bar jam. Um, I've never seen one of these before, and actually the other day I just ran across another one of these, uh, but somebody actually had it sitting on the counter, and they were picking it up. So, uh, yeah, I was going to grab that. But yeah, not a bad sale there. Um, this here has been my best Bible sale so far. Um, this Bible is really awesome. This is, uh, excuse me, this one sold for $59, and uh, I paid shipping on this as well. Um, this is the new international version, the NIV or what have you. Um, genuine leather, and I actually, I think I showcased that in one of the photos. Yeah, right in size, it's genuine leather. Um, person uh, got a hold of me, and uh, this Bible is from 1984, 83 or 84, and I think I showed that on the inside, yeah. Um, Buyer actually got a hold of me, asked me a couple questions about it, and when he got it, he was super pumped to get this Bible. So I don't know what the deal is with this Bible, but uh, yeah, they were trending really, really high. So uh, really, really great sale here, and I think I paid 99 cents for this. So uh, definitely probably one of my better sales of the month. So I mean, when 60 bucks is one of your better sales, you know you didn't have a great month selling hard goods. <laughs> Uh, this area I got at my local Goodwill. It was just a new seal. These are like Oxford folders. Um, this actually went to a university. Um, so I don't know if it was a student or what. Um, but anyway, I paid uh, 99 cents for these. Um, I just happened to see them sitting on the shelf. They were new sealed. I scanned them. I was I was only expecting them to be like seven or eight bucks. And I seen that they were trending at about $24.99 free shipping. So uh, that went right in the cart. Um, these here I got for free. Um, these are some McDonald's uh, Happy Meal toys. These are from 1996. Uh, it's the Space Jam, all the Looney Tunes Space Jam characters. Uh, so we got a little better pictures, but you know, you got Bugs. They're all new sealed. Um, yeah, there's Daffy. I think there's what Taz. Uh, that's the Nerd Logs. There's Taz, which is pretty cool. Yeah, all the guys from like the Monstars team. But anyway, yeah, I got these for free. They sold for $34.99 plus uh, buyer paid shipping. So about $40, nice $40 sale there uh, on something I got for free. Um, I think I shared these on my Instagram here a while back. But uh, yeah, I got a whole load of McDonald's toys for free. I happened to thumb through them and I seen these. These were a little bigger, so they stood out to me. I still have all them toys. I think I'm just going to dump them all out on my uh, photo area, take a picture of them. And, uh, just turn them loose on auction I think I'm not sure but uh because I don't know why I got like six boxes big boxes full of these things uh just all new sealed uh, McDonald's toys so if someone's interested in some uh, a whole crap ton of new sealed uh, McDonald's toys uh, hit me up this here I found at my local Goodwill is a new sealed um it's like a, a circuit breaker box uh panel guard um yeah, I paid uh, four dollars for this. I think it was this was three ninety nine, I believe. Uh, it was new seal, but anyway, this little device you uh, hook up to your uh, breaker box, and uh, it's like a whole house uh, surge pro protection. And it sold for thirty six ninety nine, so not a bad little sale there. Um, I got this at my local Goodwill as well. Uh, my wife actually found this. Um, this is a La Crusette, which um, it's a really good brand. Um, I sold this as new. Um, still had the uh, still had the barcode sticker and what have you. And on the 
on the blade, I mean, there was no, I mean, it's in perfect shape and condition. So I sold this as new. Um, I think this sold in one or two days of me listing it. I got $24.99 out of that. I paid $0.99 cents for that. So that was a pretty good pickup. Um, you guys run across locker set stuff, um, utensils and what have you. Definitely at least want to look them up. Uh, this here's just a Nintendo Wii Nerf steering wheel. Um, yeah, I've had this thing laying around for a while. I got 10 bucks out of that. Nothing crazy. Uh, finally sold this uh, little older radio. I can't even remember what I paid for it. I have to go back at my records, but I don't think I paid more than $5 for this. Just this old vintage um, transistor radio. Um, it had really, really good sound. I think I showed this on Shane's uh, Vintage Spy show. I think I had a plan. And I don't know. I've I've kind of had I've, I've had this like I said out for a little while. It's really really nice. I did get I think I did get feedback on this as well. So um, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Forty bucks for a five dollar purchase plus buyer paid shipping. Um, this here is a Fossil brand. Um, Fossil is a really good brand. Like uh, they do have a lot of leather and that sort of stuff. So they like, they make purses, wallets, that sort of stuff. Um, but anyway, I happen to be at my local Goodwill. I don't. I always walk by the plus section when I go into my, the route that I always take whenever I go into my local Goodwill is as I walk in the door, I go to the uh, far right of the store and then I work my way up and down the aisles and then I go over to the clothing section. Well, the first section that I always hit is the plush. I don't ever go digging through plush or what have you. If I see something in the plush area uh, that pops out, um, I will usually, you know, take a look at it and I'll grab it. Uh, this one here jumped out at me the other day. I happened to see the fossil tag on it. It was just sitting there. And so I looked this guy up and I was like, oh, okay, they're turning about 20 bucks. So I paid 49 cents for this dude. And, uh, you know, they ship, like, they ship first class. So, um, definitely could pick up for 49 cents, got 20 bucks out of him. And actually the, the person that bought this, uh, sent me a message that they were so happy to find this bear so whoever bought this they were they must have been on the lookout for this because yeah they were super happy to get this bear um, this here something new I'm kind of after and looking at now um, I've had this actually for a while but I finally got around to listing it um, this is a new bright um, truck body um, it's for like one of them uh, new bright RC cars but this is like one of the bigger ones this is a 110 scale um, I tore it off of the chassis I paid uh, 299 I think I paid 299 or 399 in my local goodwill for this um, I tore the whole chassis off and stuff like that and I just threw that in the garbage uh, clean this body up and I know a lot of people use these either as replacement bodies or they use them for or crawler bodies. Um, if you guys follow uh, Bonafide Hustler, um, he talks about rock car, crawler bodies and stuff like that, um, but they're usually more the metal ones. Um, those there sell for some really, really good money. You can get, you know, 80 to 100 and some dollars if you can find the uh, the metal body ones. Those those do really well, but uh, this is just a hard plastic body, um, one tenth scale. And I got uh, 29 bucks out of this plus a buyer paid shipping, so not too bad on a $3 pickup there. And like I said, literally all I had to do was take four screws out of this. So, um, And these are extremely lightweight. So, uh, This here was from a big Harley haul I had last year. Um, I got 20 bucks out of that, free shipping, just a slow Harley Metal Max. Uh, it's like a little, I guess, Harley little bike that you can assemble and I guess, swap parts and stuff like that. I'll kind of customize. So, yeah, kind of cool. Little fat boy. Uh, this here's just a regular Harley. Uh, Harley Owners Group. Um, just patch. So, nothing crazy with that. But I got 15 bucks out of that. Free ship. I think I added a dollar into that. Um, I just sold this this weekend. Um, this thing took me a while to package. Uh, I got a... Uh, 50 bucks out of this plus buyer paid shipping. I know it shows shipping 1040, but the buyer actually paid like $25 shipping. So yeah, this thing was uh, weighed about seven pounds by the time I was done. And uh, you know, I mean, there's three pieces of glass in there. So I had to really, you know, really wrap and take, you know, extra care and getting this thing all done and what have you. So yeah, I got a nice, nice big box going out there. But uh, yeah, 20 bucks shipping, that's crazy. So uh, they ended up paying, what, about $70 for this basket. And I paid, uh, I got this at a garage sale. Uh, I think I paid five bucks for this. So I knew it was pretty decent. You know, the baskets are, um, 
you know, a lot of burger stuff's kind of going out, but I knew this one here was actually worth a little bit of money. My mom used to be a big Lana Burger collector, so uh, I knew this one was decent. It had all the jars. The jars actually are all Lana Burger jars. They got the basket weave. Um, it had the liner inside of it, the protector, all that stuff. So all those things all are worth uh, money. Uh, so for five bucks, basically, if you look at it, by the time you kind of divvy it all out, it's about a dollar an item. I mean, I can part all that stuff out for, for way over that. So. Uh, that was actually a pretty good sale there for uh, 50 bucks. So I think the rest are all hats that I sold over the past month. Uh, look at that eBay hat. Uh, yeah, I sold this uh, eBay hat. I picked this up. Man, I can't remember if I got this at a. I think I got this at a local thrift. Um, so I think I paid like 50 cents or a quarter for this hat. It's in brand new shape, condition. Uh, $17.98, free ship out of that. It's a really nice hat. I was going to put that up on Poshmark, my Poshmark store, but I thought oh, they might frown upon that one or it might, or it might get me flagged. So uh, I just left it on eBay. But yeah, really nice hat. Uh, this here is John Deere Classic um, golf hat. It's like a dry fit golf hat. Uh, they do the John Deere Classic about an hour from where I live. When I was talking about John Deere a little bit ago, um, that I live about an hour from the main uh, facility, factory, or their headquarters, whatever. Um, they do a great big uh, pro golf event. In, uh, in that town every year. And then this one here was signed. Um, and in any of my listing, I, I actually, uh, I forget who this is that signed this. I actually put though that I didn't um, guarantee the authenticity because I didn't sign, there's no uh, certificate of authenticity. I was not there to, uh, you know, get this item, uh, to actually witness this item being signed. So basically I'm just selling this as a new with tags hat. Um, you know, I didn't sell this as an autographed hat. And if you look at my listing, I, there's no mention of this being. Oh, I did. I actually did write signed on there. So, um, but yeah, let me actually see how I did word this. Okay, so this was signed by Derek Ernst, um, no COA, and I just wrote, I kind of did a disclaimer in this. Uh, we're selling this new with tags only item. We do not guarantee the authenticity of the signature as we did not personally obtain this from the individual. So I thought that was probably a good way to take and put this to uh, just kind of cover myself, um, you know, for selling a, you know, I don't want to get accused of selling a, uh, a fake autograph. Honestly, if you're buying uh, autographs on eBay, uh, yeah, I used to be really big into autographs and stuff like that, especially in sports memorabilia and what have you, uh, way back in the early in the early days. Uh, and then now it's you know there was people found out there was so much money in that. Most most of your autographed items on eBay are all forged. I mean, it's there's a ton unless you're buying something from uh, PSA or um, Steiner uh, Mounted Memories. There's a couple. Um, I think TriStar is another really good one. Um, Upper deck authenticated, you know. I mean, there are a few outfits out there that actually are really good sports authenticators and what have you. I mean, unless you're buying stuff from them and they're and you're getting a COA from them, that's really about the only thing that I would uh, I, I would stick with buying if you're buying autographs online. Otherwise, uh, you you know, it's it is what it is. Uh, you're 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 taking it you're taking a chance. So anyway. Uh, so this Ducks Unlimited hat, actually I got this at the same uh, time I got that barge in uh, tire knocker. Um, so that was in that deal, so I got $17.98 out of that. Um, I just got the Nintendo DS all tested and, uh, and working. I had to get a charger for it, so um, I had to buy one off one of my buddies. I sold all my video game stuff last year, so I had no extra parts or no nothing like that. So, uh, But the DS charged up, it worked, there was a game in it, so... Uh, I gotta get that up and listed. Uh, so yeah, actually, I made some pretty good, made some pretty good money off that uh, eight bucks I spent there. Plus, the wife ended up with a couple things uh, for the house, and yeah, not too bad. And last but not least, I think I sold this on the reseller six pack show not last night, but uh, a week ago. Um, yeah, it's just a new Holland backhoe. Uh, it's kind of like a wool hat. I mean, it's not really wool, but it's uh, just a really nice hat. Um, I did have uh, someone messaged me probably, I don't know, three or four weeks ago, and they wanted this for a funeral, and they want, basically wanted me to overnight it. Um, and I told him, I was like, listen, I said, you know, I said, I'm really sorry and I feel bad for your situation, but you know, I mean, for me to overnight this thing, you guys are going to have a whole bunch of money wrapped up into it and for what it is. And I go, honestly, even though it is overnighted, I still can't guarantee it's going to get there in time. Uh, you know, there are just a lot of, 
factors involved and she goes I totally understand you know what have you so uh, I, I'm assuming that the person was you know maybe somebody who, who drove uh, New Holland back home or did something like that and they wanted it for I, I kind of felt bad about that at, but at the same time I was like man I go I, I am not going to try and overnight this thing and actually uh, I think she did hit me up on a weekend so yeah it was like I think she hit me up on a Saturday and I was like I don't even think I can overnight this on uh that sort of time but anyway okay guys it's pretty much my uh, hard goods sales for the past month uh, you know not nothing crazy in there by any means I did have a few decent sales but you know just you know a lot of just bread and butter stuff um, like I said most I, I love picking up hard goods but uh, unfortunately for the past few months here uh, with winter and everything else uh, thrift stores is where my hard goods are coming from so now the garage sale seasons finally kinda kicking off um, Hopefully I can start finding some little better stuff and what have you. Uh, you know, clothes are my bread and butter, but uh, you know, I, man, I, I love selling hard goods. I love finding that stuff and flipping that. It's just so much easier to do and to deal with and what have you. So anyway, guys, uh, make sure you check out the uh, the clothing and shoe video. That'll be part two. I'm gonna get that out here in just a bit. If you guys are interested in clothing and shoes, but you know, if this was your thing, hey, great. Um, you know, thanks for uh, hanging with me. So anyway, guys, that's gonna do it. That's my time. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, fins up. Bye, everybody.